Hello, welcome to Microlocity. Today I'm going to be doing the challenge from Diecast Looney, and that is a utility truck slash vehicle challenge. And it's basically, um, it could be anywhere from like a semi truck to a work vehicle, um, as, uh, like a police car in front of you. So anywhere along those lines, I guess those are the rules as far as I that's how I took them anyway and I have a bunch here I'm gonna go through them fairly quickly um, I have a bunch of these in my collection so it was kinda hard to pick the ones that I picked but I tried to pick some ones that were that I thought were gonna be different from other channels and and just like Diecast Looney most of mine are Matchbox and it just so happened to be that way um, I didn't do it on purpose or anything. I was trying to mix them up, but I guess most of my favorites were the Matchbox. So the first one here is a 93 Chevy Camaro Z28 police car. And this is a, a, um, a Matchbox. And all these were, well, almost all of these were played with when I was a kid so they're not all perfect a lot of them have ch uh, little chips and stuff on them a lot of play wear uh, this one is a Ford LTD another matchbox and I have a lot of variations of this one I picked this one because I thought the blue um, wasn't so common but I love this casting from matchbox Okay, I have one more police vehicle. This one I did not play with. Um, I remember buying this and putting it away. This is the Chevy Blazer casting. This is from Matchbox. I love the paint on this one. It's super glossy. And this one still has the removable um, antenna. A lot of times these are missing um, from the loose uh, versions. And I remember I had a couple of these as a kid and I don't know what happened to them. I probably played with them outside and they got destroyed. But I, I remember having the black version, um, the black and white police car. Okay, so now we'll move to fire engines, fire trucks. Here's a interesting one from Hot Wheel. This one is a Corgi casting and it was released like a 97 1997 range um, Hot Wheels they released a bunch of Corgi castings within that year or two and um, this one's an actual uh, fire truck that they make in Britain and I guess they use this in the UK or in Europe mostly um, but this is a ERF fire tender which I didn't realize that this was an actual um, fire truck. But they did a pretty nice job. Um, the tampo work, they it's uh, different tampos on both sides. So all the boxes have different writing on them. And this ladder does come off, but it's not that easy to remove. And you can see the, the corgi castings that they released. Um, the bottoms were um, pretty plain like there's no um, no dates not many markings on the bottom and I think they only released this uh, in a main line for one year I know I know it had like a um, like a promo car from one of the um, drugstore companies and it might have been a part of a five pack but as far as I remember this is the only um, they only release this in the main line for one year. And going with the fire truck theme, here's two fire eaters from Hot Wheels. The red one is probably early 80 release and the yellow is the later 80s. But I think they're basically identical. They have different numbers on the side. This is a 51, this has a number three. Um, but it's a 
pretty popular casting from Hot Wheels. But if you played with Hot Wheels as a kid in the 80s, I guarantee you had one of these. And let's see. Okay, another Matchbox fire truck. I don't really know the release date on this one. I think the bottom says 82, but I think this is a little bit older, a, a later release. So, and so this has the, the ladder that goes up and pulls out. Okay, here is a fire rescue truck. And this one has, let me zoom out a little bit. This one has the lights on top that pull out and pull back in. And this is a Mack truck. And I think I have a couple different variations of this one, but I couldn't find them. So that was that was definitely one of my favorites to play with as a kid. And we have two Matchbox Ambulance. The one on the left, the old beat up one, is from my childhood. This one, I don't know what happened to this, but it got pretty beat up. And this one here is from, I believe from the early 90s. This one I did not play with, I put it away um, when I got it. But really the only difference is the where they were made. Um, the newer one was made in China, the upper one, the older one's made in Macau. But everything else seems to be basically the same on them. Okay, here we have a semi-truck from Yatming, and this is a Kenworth, I believe. Yes. This is my only um, Yatming Semi that I have. It's all metal. Like even the gray part here is all metal. So it's, this is probably one of my favorite uh, semi trucks that I have. Here's two utility trucks for Matchbox. The energy truck is the older of the two. And um, I played with this one a lot when I was a kid. It's missing the, the bucket on the back. But these are um, they're two old uh, Ford utility trucks. This one I played with a little bit and then I ended up putting it away when I was a kid. So it still has the buckets and then the arm goes up and down. Two very, very cool castings. Um, another favorite casting, Matchbox Peterbilt truck. Um, this is just two color variations. I, I'm assuming they're different, released in different years. Um, and I have so many of these, you know, they have different, the backs they change on them, you know, cement mixers and things. But I, I love these trucks. Okay, I have one semi truck with a trailer. Let me zoom out here. This is just a very cheap, um, very cheap casting. And this is probably from the early 90s as well. And this is just a, a store that's still around today. And actually, the video I just posted where I found the 50 uh, anniversary Hot Wheels, um, this is the type of store that I found where it. They just have random items, and you don't know what you're going to find when you go there. And this one, I love this truck as a kid because the scale, the scale was pretty good against a, a Hot Wheel or a Matchbox. So it had pretty good play value. And let's see. I have two newer Matchbox four pickups. This one I just picked up about a week or so ago. So this is a Ford F-150 
and this is a little bit older Ford F-250. Let's see. So I think Matchbox just does a pretty good job with their utility type working vehicles. And I think that's it. So hopefully there was some uh, cars in here that you haven't seen for a while or have never seen before. Um, this was a very fun challenge. I wish I could show a lot more cars, but um, I try to keep it down to a minimum. So go check out Diecast Looney. Um, if you're able to, join in the challenge. This is pretty fun. I love to see um, what utility vehicles you have. And thank you for watching. And see you next time.